Yeah, sure. People want to work until they die. Ricky Allen, R, Georgia, recorded saying the GOP is going after Social Security because people want to work longer. Many people are coming up to me on walkers saying, Rick, we'd like to work into our 90s to make America great. My brother. That is not true. Maybe your brainwashed people who think that they, they owe you something want to work until they're 90. But if I could get enough money to where I didn't have to work another day in my life, I wouldn't freaking work at all. <laughs> like, seriously. We work so that we can save money to stop stop working and still have enough money to live. That's how it works, unfortunately. I would believe this story if literally anyone else said it. Ah, who could this possibly be? Yeah, it's Trisha Paytas, all right. When I was 18, I waited tables at Disney's Soda Fountain. Johnny Depp brought his kids in for ice cream and left me a $500 tip for a $30 tab. Well, I like to believe that Johnny Depp is a wonderful person, so even though this is Trisha Paytas, sure. So the manatee just sat there while you did that? One time I was swimming in the spring in Florida and everybody started screaming and getting out of the water and I was like, like, haha, losers, ain't nothing in this water. So I climbed up on a rock to sit, but then the rock started moving, and that's the story of the time I wrote a manatee. This is from Tumblr, so you know it's not true. <laughs> Our waitress was giving us attitude, and my eight-year-old daughter, who happens to be the middle child, said, first off, I ordered a pizza, not your attitude. Um, even if the waitress was giving me lip, if my eight-year-old daughter said that to a waitress, I'd be like, hey, no, don't freaking do that. I remember when I told my three-year-old daughter that me and her dad are no longer together. I was crying and she wiped my tears and said, finally, I was shocked. She said, I used to hear you crying when I was in your womb. I know my father has never made you happy, so don't worry, I'm glad you guys broke up. Three-year-old daughter said that. God, Facebook moms will say anything to make their ex-husbands feel bad. <laughs> okay, so holy hell, I snapped my fingers like a lot and I snapped them really good and loud and this lady the next dial over replied as soon as I snapped, I'm your good girl and her husband said, that wasn't me, babe. I am dead. Huh. I mean, I feel like this actually probably did happen because that is just such a weird thing to say. Like, you'd have to think really hard to make up something like that, you know? So proud of my youngest. She was in line for lunch at school today. It was French toast sticks and sausage. The boy in front of her said no to the sausage and she called him a communist. She's in kindergarten. Hashtag proud parent. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh-huh. Totally. Totally, bro. Totally, bro. Shut up! Why did Olive Garden get rid of its unlimited limited breadsticks policy. They claim it's a distribution issue. I demanded to go into the refrigerated storeroom for the truth. Actually, I snuck in there. Brr. I saw stacks of cartons of breadsticks, enough to feed half the population of Yemen. They just don't want to hand them out because then you will fill up on them and not order as much. Or, hear me out, a lot of people go to Olive Garden every day, and so, you know, they need to have enough breadsticks for everybody. I'm sure your very, very exaggerated thing about Yemen is not true even, and I think you're just being a big douche. My flight is overbooked, and the lady offered $700 for anyone who volunteered to fly out tomorrow. So I yelled, it's a scam. Legally, they owe you $1,500 or four times your ticket, whichever is lowest. So everyone waited till she said $1,500 to stand up. Why am I like this? Yeah, I mean, I'm not trying to judge, you know, what would happen, what didn't happen, what did happen. But I, I mean, in this day and age, I could see this happening for sure. My sister was dead. No heartbeat. Nerves were practically gone. Skin was blue. My father said, kid, if you see Jesus, take his hand. But Jesus, if she can have a life with us and if she can be happy, you send her right back. And she was back. Not how that works. Maybe in, in TV, maybe in movies, maybe in TV shows, but <laughs> that's not how that works in real life, buddy. Sorry to break it to you. Today, I let a student go to the restroom. Apparently, he was unaware that bathrooms amplify sound. So when he did the four note whistle from the Hunger Games, it rang down the hall. The funny part, however, is that my class became utterly silent and did the three finger salute. All of them in perfect unison. It was kind of cool. What do you as a teacher gain from lying? You want, you want internet clout? Huh? You want to use your students for internet clout? Get a job. So I'm out walking all three dogs and I see this older Middle Eastern guy trying to load a clothes dryer into his truck. I can see him struggling and ask, do you need a hand with that? Then as it comes crashing down, I answered my own question. Yes, you do. I find a place to tie up the dogs. Then the guy begins to formulate a plan as to how we can do this task. I notice that the dryer was small, cheap, and most likely lightweight. I tell him that I'll lift it myself and make a few jokes about being quite strong. Anyway, I put the thing in the guy's truck and he begs for a way to repay me, which I declined. It really took little effort on my part. And then the guy says, you must be a police officer. This, none of this happened. None of it. Absolutely not a single speck that is so easily staged it hurts. Found this hat in my apartment this morning. I live alone and it's not my hat. Oh, really? It's definitely your hat, dude. <laughs> it's definitely your hat. What do you mean? I live alone. It's this, it's the, the most easy, simple thing you could have done. You could have gone a little more intricate, made it a little more believable, but no, you took your hat, you threw it on the ground, and you took a picture. This very true story from Kamala Harris. 
Harris. In her wide-ranging interview with the magazine, Harris, the child of immigrants from India and Jamaica, remembered the first civil rights march she attended in a stroller from which she fell, getting separated from her family. My mother tells the story about how I'm fussing, Harris told Ashley C. Ford for Elle magazine, and she's like, baby, what do you want? What do you need? And I just looked at her and I said, freedom. Look, Kamala, I voted for you. I voted for you and, and Mr. Biden, but this is the most <laughs> pathetic, pathetic attempt at trying to, trying to tell a story, a believable story. That's not how that works, bro. Conversations with my seven-year-old, like me, what does future Ollie look like? Ollie, I don't think the concept of the future is real, mom. I mean, there's only just moments in each now. Really, it's just the now that exists. I think about the past sometimes because I have memories, but when I'm in this future you ask me about, it's really just going to be another now moment. So I just worry about having fun now. That's all there actually is. Bro, your seven-year-old did not say that. I'm 24 and I could not formulate something like that. There is no way a seven-year-old named Ollie could possibly do that. A few months ago, I was shopping for groceries and this kid was having a temper tantrum in the store. This went on for 20 minutes. Finally, I said, buy that kid a toy, shut him the fork up, or take your sperm goblin outside so he can shop in peace. Slow clapping ensued when the dad took the shirt slinger outside. All right, nobody claps in unison in public ever. So if you want to tell a believable story, do not say that everyone clapped because no one clapped. No one probably said anything if you said this to somebody. Kids cry. It's how it goes. Is it annoying? Yes, of course. I don't like when kids cry, but they can't really control it, man. So chill out. Nobody clapped. You're a bad person. She gasped and everyone clapped. I'm waiting in line for a drink. A girl walks next to me and gasps and walks backwards. I'm like, I ordered your good. She goes, no, I gasped how attractive you are, but I'm sure you have a girlfriend. I said, I certainly do not. And she said, well, can I get your number? And I said, no, I'm sorry, but you have terrible taste in men. This is why you don't have a girlfriend. <laughs> Like, be self-deprecating on your own time, man. You're gonna say that, like, you saying to a girl they have terrible taste in men because they're attracted to you? That is, like, so weird. Weird to say. When I was in high school, we had 30 minutes for lunch. I would take mine and run a mile down the road and give it to a homeless man. I did this every other day until I graduated. He came to my graduation. Love the premise, but if you ran a mile there and back for lunch every other day, chances are you probably smell pretty bad and you're sweaty on your way back. So, I don't know. It, you know, if, if you want to put that into people's heads, because if there was someone every other day who smelt bad after lunch because they went on a run in their regular clothes, I, I'd be like, hey, you smell bad, man. What's wrong with you? Yes, because nobody minds when a stranger snatches their phone. Last night, my friend's boyfriend was taking a photo of our group and a Gen Z girl walked by, grabbed the phone out of his hand, took the best photo we've ever seen, handed the phone back and walked away. It's not, <laughs> that's not how that works, man. If, if, a, if a random girl took my phone out of my hands, I'd be like, hey, get my phone back, please. And then if she ran off, I'd be like, oh, well, there goes my phone because I'm a big guy and I cannot run that fast. Has a therapist ever said something so whack to you that it gave you the ick and you had to fire them? Psychologist asked if I ever turned to hard drugs to cope. I jokingly said I wouldn't even know where to get them. And she said she could do that part if I thought it was necessary. No, ma'am. I do not think I would like to take up an addiction in my spare time. Are you insinuating that your psychologist offered you hard drugs? <laughs> way. I was filling up my tank tonight when a woke Gen Z homeless guy asked for money. I told him I would get him a meal and help him fill out a job application too. He rejected my offer. This is the problem with Gen Z. No work ethic. They want everything handed to them. Dude, I don't believe a single thing Nick Adams parentheses alpha male says on Twitter. I actually have this guy blocked. It is just all bait. It is all bait and it's all false and it's so strange. Like why is a grown man doing this? This time I was on the bus. Guy sits next to me and comments on how beautiful I am. I thank him and tell him I just want to be alone, but he offers me a modeling contract. The two guys seat behind him say he's modeling scout and says he'll beat out whatever the first guy is offering. Now these two guys are arguing over who's going to sign me to a modeling contract. I think it's very sweet, but I tell them I'm not interested. My stop is coming up and I get off and the guys are still arguing over me and I don't know if they even saw I wasn't on the bus. Another guy gets off the bus and follows me and he said he saw everything and works for the movies and he wants to offer me an acting contract. He says my looks are amazing and just what he's been looking for. I had to decline. Plus, I just don't think I'm that beautiful. Like these guys were saying, I'm working on it, but I'm not there yet. Still, it was nice to have guys like this fight over me. I was late to work and Barry wasn't happy. I told him about the agents on the bus and he didn't want to lose me. So he offered me a raise. All right. So many different things wrong with this. Trying not to be a negative Nancy here. The only, the, the biggest thing that stuck out to me was uh, someone offering you an acting contract just because you look good. Like a random lady on the bus, never seen you act, not a single thing. Brother. Also, man, 
managers don't offer raises to people anymore. They just work you to death for minimum wage. I trained karate at the early age of five. I made it a black belt and quit by the age of eight. I'm 58 years old and still remember every move. They don't give black belt to toddlers. They don't do that. That's not how karate works. Completely true story spotted in the reviews of the movie Megan. I am truly disappointed. I have a 12 year old little boy with cancer. His favorite thing is horror movies. And at the end of the movie, he said I'd rather die than watch that again. How do you think that makes me feel as a father? I almost want to sue the director. I'm just truly heartbroken. You're gonna sue the director because your son with cancer didn't like the movie? Nice try. You will get laughed out of court. So I took the girls to the park today and overheard two black ladies talking about my kids' names. Kids like them shouldn't have names like that, just trying to steal our identities. I was just gonna let it go, but changed my mind. I walked over to them and said, excuse me, you need to mind your own business and keep my kids' names out of your big mouths. Last time I checked, names don't have a color. Bam. I felt much better after telling them off. What a bunch of uneducated losers. I'm not touching that. <laughs> this influencer I follow on Facebook posts stuff like this basically every day. Nobody, people in Walmart staring at me. Sorry, no, starring at me because I'm in all black and have crazy colored hair. A few of them giggle. My mom, who's a Scorpio, as loud as she can. Y'all mother father's got a starring problem? Beat me outside, bi we'll see stairs then. Everybody looks away and starts minding their own business. Another reason why I love her. Yeah, that, your, your first mistake was following a social media influencer on Facebook. <laughs> They're all just weird, man. Telling every pregnant woman I know who's planning on having a natural, unmeditated birth to eat pineapples, dates, drink red raspberry leaf tea, and walk a lot to soften and prepare your cervix. I did this and I was only in labor for 10 minutes and got the baby out in one push. Didn't rip at all. I was up walking 15 minutes after giving birth. I'm pretty sure there's like hospital policy that says you can't do that. Like walk 15 minutes after giving birth. Also, why are you not in, in the hospital bed with your newborn child? 15 minutes after giving birth to it. When I was in seventh grade, my art was showcased in an art museum. I never got my painting back because they told me they lost it. I took humanities class in college and the teacher pulled out my painting so he could discuss the artist. No, 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 no. This is me when I lie. This is me when I fib. This is me when I don't tell the truth.